guys. Uh, for any electronics engineer, having a simulation tool in hand is very important because um, once he designs his circuit, he would like to know um, what is uh, uh, the performance of that circuit uh, with respect to his expectations. Um, so um, LT Spice is one such tool which is used by engineers worldwide and it is from analog devices. Uh, <coughs> And uh, most of the engineers rely uh, on this tool um, and, uh, as it is a free tool, uh, people uh, has been, have been using it more and more, um, especially for the components from, space, from that vendor and also from the, uh, for the components from other vendors as well. So now if you see the library of uh, LT Spice, it is limited to some extent. Uh, you might have to add new components uh, to it uh, whenever needed so that you can perform your desired um, simulation on a specific component. <coughs> now uh, when we were uh, trying to do a simple simulation with LM741 we could not find it in the library. LM741 uh, is commonly used by professionals and students worldwide. Right? Let us see how to add LM741 uh, to the library. So before going to LM741 library, so this is this is the home page of Texas Instruments LM741 and then if you scroll down you see uh, a SPICE model. So this, this is the SPICE model uh, which you have to download basically um, P SPICE models can be imported directly into the LT SPICE. So download this LM741 SPICE model and uh, this is the data sheet so once you download you should you should see uh, a pinout similar to this so now um, what we did here is we downloaded into a our local folder and then open lt spice file open let us say all files here because uh, we are not opening the schematic here yeah so this is the P spice model uh, for uh, the LM741. So you can see the entire thing. So now uh, don't right click anywhere, right click on the part name and then say create symbol. So it will say do um, we generate with five ports and you should say yes. So once you say yes, this is how uh, the part uh, shall be created. So you can save it. And just uh, let us say close this close this and then let us assume I want to create a new part go to the component library go to auto generated and you can see LM741 symbol so there are ways where you can edit this symbol as well uh, so let us assume um, I wanted an exact op-amp symbol so you can you can take uh, uh, the op-amp related library and perform modifications to this uh, uh, to uh, go ahead and edit so if you go back here the symbol would be as is and uh, this is how uh, the symbol uh, looks like and you can go ahead and use it so only one thing is you just need to understand what are these pins that are associated in the next video, we will see how to convert this into exact op app symbol so that you know yeah, the in wow. inverting, non-inverting input, yeah. output, um, positive and the negative inputs. Uh, thanks for watching.